Gloucester, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001, 2100 hours. I know, I know, I promised I'd quit, but I was contacted by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obed Morton and the Apcanis writing tablet. Does that ring any bell? Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Carmi. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you want to contact Johnson, he's at 555-1495. Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. Somewhere in the United States, October 31st, 2001, 1800 hours, 43 minutes. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. And the professor? Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Daddy? Daddy! Miss Sedrak? Uh, Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline, when we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abcanis Stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. We're getting close. Shadow Island. What was that?
Carnby, is that you? Stay calm. Everything's gonna be fine. Come and get me out of here. I landed on some kind of old manor. Everything's dark. I'm really scared. Listen, turn your flashlight on so I can spot you. Okay, worked fine. I can see you. What do I do now? Well, you've got to get inside the manor. There has to be a, a window or something. Find a safe place to hide and wait for me. But... I'll be there soon. Who are you? I do not recognize the sound of your steps. Please help me. I've had an accident. You should never have come here, young lady. This is not a place for you or anyone else. Why? What's going on here? My son Obed is in danger, young lady. Obed? You mean Professor Obed Morton? Creatures of darkness. You must help him. You must take Obed with you before it's too late. Wait, what creatures? The creatures of darkness? What is... You see, young lady, here on Shadow Island, the shadows are alive. <laughs> they come and lick your face like hellfire. The shadows are cold and sharp and like razor blades. The shadows stalk you. They feed off your breath and your heat, but mainly off of your fear. Light dispels the shadows, but light also reveals the shadows. Obed will explain this better than I can. Where is he? How would I know? I haven't seen him for three days now. The last time he came, he entrusted me with this key. A statue in the smoking room. Take it. Shh. Listen. I don't hear anything. Then hush! Howard? Howard? Is that you? Howard? Oh, what in heaven's name are you doing? Who's Howard? It's my husband, of course. Obed's father. Howard? Young lady, please go have a look in the corridor. There might be a problem. Howard? Is that you? Carnby?
lady. There, on the table. Take it. What is it? An American Indian charm that will protect your life force. But why? How? And be careful, young lady. Carnby, this is no island. This is a nightmare. What have you dragged me into? First of all, I never dragged you into anything. Secondly, I told you to remain put. And third, I don't have any idea either. But where is all this coming from? Did we step into the Twilight Zone or what? I'm telling you, I have no idea. Anyhow, if you hear someone calling for help, beware. I don't understand. You'll understand way too soon. <laughs> 